way to get onto a lift. Get on, get into a car on a lift. So, put, take your little uh, bump pads for a lifted truck. Get on them. Uh, get onto the lift. Pop them over. <laughs> Make sure you watch that gap. Gap. And hop on in. Then you're in. That's scary, no one had the e-brake on. Yeah, I would leave that on while you're up here, even though it wouldn't do any good. I actually would if the lift were to fail. Now let's show pen. There you go. Turn on some jam. Unless if it is dead. Worthless. Now let's just show you how to get out. Same principle. Step onto your cross members. Step on over. Except this time, step on down. Now loading your car would be a different kind of deal. Because it's all the way up there. So I have my keys now. So we're gonna check if my battery's charged now and see if I can get this thing started because I have a fresh thing of fuel. About, I'd say maybe three or two or three gallons. Ah, oh, there we go. No wonder. Nope. Like I said, I have to get into the passenger seat. There's no way to fix this thing. It's alive! Ah, uh, help me. Fuel pump is gone. There we go, she's alive. Listen to that purr. I'll put you by the exhaust so you can hear it. Ugh. Okay, so I need to go to wood shop, back to wood shop. I need to store my lid in it, my chest lid. Just help pray this thing starts. There we go. Ooh. And it died. That's not good.
think the problem is for why this keeps snowing, as you saw in the last clip, is because it's because the misfire of the car. I don't want that. It's easy to move. Yeah, now the battery's ready because, like the idiot I am, I left the park lights, lights on. This is the throttle. Now, for some reason, when I go into reverse, neutral, park, and drive, it's horrible, but it seems to idle very well. It looks like the thing's charging my car right now. But the car is charging my thing right now. Oh well. So here's the 1980s way of starting a car. In a manual, you put your foot on the clutch and sometimes on the gas. In an automatic, you put your foot down. Gee, that's a, that's a cool zero cylinders. Gotta be this misfire problem. Anyways, Taylor out. Yeah, so I made a parts run today. Oops. So um, my horn is broken, as I mentioned. So I got a horn button, spring loaded. Then I got a fuselage so I can properly wire it so I don't burn my car to the ground and me with it. Then I only need like two of these, and that will connect to the battery. So. That's the power source connector. And I got some fuses because some of mine are blown out and I'm out of 25 amp. And look, this is the cool part. When they're blown out, it will glow red. So we got those. And then another thing. So um, my car has a misfire problem. We uh, did a diagnosis. We tried the spark plugs. They were fine, especially since I regapped them. Distributor, distributor wires, they were also fine because I had just replaced them. And then um, fuel injectors, so we're going to check that. We could do it without these O-rings, but then once again, I'll burn, I'd burn myself on the car to the ground if I, if the gasoline gets too hot on the, if it leaks out and stuff. <coughs> so, there's my party. Okay, so that'll be it for the night. I'm going to hit the hay now. Be it tomorrow. Tomorrow's auto shop since it's beat, since it's beat day. Um, so... I'll probably do, most likely do the fuel injection check, which I need to grab one thing. Yeah. You recording? Yeah. Can I, can I call you T. Flenderson? T. Flenderson? Sure. Okay, so let's take this out. Or Flinder Taylor? Sure. What if I said your entire name on the blog? No. Trying to keep uh, things a little private for safety. Besides, people have already sent, started sending me weird comments. Like what? <laughs> Just take a look at my comment section or whatever. No, like, like, I want to hear, I want to hear. Yeah, look at that. Taylor. Oh my god. You're freaking for the short. Okay. Yeah, that's why I'm replacing my horn thing. Let's see which fuse is the... I think it's in the back. I 
that thought. <laughs> Okay, so let's see where the... Oh yeah, if I pull this fuse, look what happens. Hang on. Yeah. Oh, here's my fuse puller. If I pull, pull one of these fuses... You thought the car? Yeah, it's the ignition system or EF5 or whatever. Yeah, look at this spoiler. It's 1985. Sick, dude. <laughs> okay, so cut for a minute. Clock. That's, that's why my clock went out. Power window, wash. Washer slash power window. Oh, they were pump it. I have a right hand drive. This is what happens when you leave your headlights on. Here, let's. She's okay, dead. Well, what exactly did you do to make your car not start? I pulled a fuse to the ignition. And do you regret it? Oh, it was the fuel pump, actually. We'll see in a minute. Pump it, Taylor, pump it. Nope. Uh, yeah, I regret it. Oh, well. This car is giving me a lot of trouble. Just thank goodness it's a cheap car. Cheap as in free. And I know I have to pay for it. <laughs> so far it's like, well, my parents originally offered me a hundred dollars, but I have to buy a new tire for this thing, so it's probably going to be around two and hundred ninety-six plus all the parts I've bought, plus if I paid them off. Yeah, but cool, excited about this wiring system, and the other bag I have is the fuel injection, fuel injection railing. So if I have to replace anything. Mm. Fuel injection O-rings. I'll show you again. Fuse lodge. All right, this is the thing that goes under my steering column to make it all nice. So that'll go right here. There we go, yeah, I like that. So I'll install that later. Nice. Okay guys, so I found a problem for my car. My two diagnoses are right. So first one was the misfire force, and then why it uh, died when I kept steering it was because the, I was out of power steering fluid, and unfortunately I didn't get some on my parts run yesterday. So I was going to call my dad, ask him to get some from AutoZone to bring it to me, but it, he's asleep, so he can't do it. He's on graveyard shift. Well, meanwhile, my mom's in jail. Meanwhile, my mom is still in California with my two brothers, so it's not so well. But we did find problems for the misfire. Uh, one of the fuel injection plugs were not working. So, fuel injectors, not ready. But luckily I brought some spirits to me and we're gonna use those. I to mention one thing. So, when we were just testing the fuel injectors, we had them unplugged and I had my ignition fuse pulled out. But for, it was really funny though. <coughs> Anyways, I tried to, they told me to crank it over and I did. So I cranked it over and then I let it go. And then there was a big flame that comes up. The car caught on fire. Now I'm not exaggerating. I do not lie on my vlogs. Simply the camera was off. No one was hurt. The car wasn't hurt. The, the I did yell, get the fire extinguisher. But uh, it was basically a gasoline fire. So it ran out of liquid and then it was gone. So despite the fact that, um, despite the fact that I'm going to be late to lunch, today's been a very successful day. Um, it was ac wasn't actually the fuel injectors. It was the fuel injector wire because, um, not only the distributor wires got 
um, chewed up by mice, but also, uh, what, what was the other thing? Yeah, the fuel injector wires got chewed up too. So, in the end, if you have enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe and have a good day. To be continued.